Hi and welcome. Today I'm very excited because we're going to be digging into a book that oh, I love it. This is a book that I ordered. Oh no, sorry, what am I saying? I didn't order it. I asked for it for Christmas and I got it um, as a Christmas gift. And I'm just so, so happy that I did. It's this book, Drawing for Illustration by Martin Salisbury. And already just the cover is absolutely inspiring. Look at those beautiful illustrations. And yeah, so we're going to dig into this book. I'm going to talk you through what I thought about it. I have finished reading it front jacket to back jacket. So I'll be able to really share my thoughts on it, but also show you some artists that I thought were really inspiring and maybe some of the materials I think they were using or shape language. Anyway, a bunch of different stuff. So why don't we get into it? So this is the book. The cover was actually designed by Isabelle Arsenault, who's um, a pretty well-known illustrator. She does some beautiful, beautiful works. And I think that's very evidenced by how delicate and inspiring the dust jacket is for this book. It's actually pretty recent. It was made in 2022. And I think it's his second or third book. He has another one about um, children's books or something like that. And it's one that was actually on my to read list for a long time. But since I didn't have the specific goal of uh, making a children's book, I refrained from getting that for a while. But then when I saw this one, I immediately decided that it w I would love to read this one. I've been looking for a book that talks about illustration um, from like a broader standpoint for a long time. And I actually had another book that I'm, I don't remember now the title. I gave it away because even though the cover was really beautiful, the text was really dry and it was very hard for me to read. This on the other hand is extremely well written, very inspiring and I'm going to be honest and it's the reason that we're doing this kind of book review book tour today is if there is one book, one book that I think that you should get if you like art, if you want art to be a bigger part of your life, this is the book that I would get. Why is that? Because as you'll see, it has a lot of different sections. I'm going to show you a little bit just the contents page so you can see he goes into explaining what drawing is, what illustration is, also the basics, you know, mark making, composition, perspective, drawing animals. And then, but throughout the entire book, what I think is really interesting is that you get this wonderful perspective from a variety of different illustrators on how they go about the artistic process, how they go about building their images, coming up with their images, and really just showing you the diversity of ways of working, but also really giving you insight into what it is that is important to pay attention to when you want art to have a bigger place in your life. Beautiful spread. I love this one. And yeah, and it's full of very inspiring imagery. There's also, you know, just sketchbook spreads. It's just, uh, it's exactly what I wish I would have read maybe 10 years ago. And it's why I can't recommend it more. It's very beautifully and sensi sensitively written. Even if your goal is not necessarily to create illustrations for clients, just understanding and hearing about all these different artists and illustrators process can, I think, be extremely useful for your own. Because also there's a massive emphasis, and I know that I get into this in my sketchbook challenges or, um, sorry, my sketchbook tours and you know, in the live drawing sessions and of course my Skillshare classes, 
but really this idea of process and of research and of learning you realize how much that's inherent to every single <laughs> artist and I think that when we start out we just have this very kind of idealized version of what being an artist is where you're immediately creating beautiful art <laughs> uh, all the time <laughs> and so this really kind of breaks that myth down but in a very very concrete way <laughs> 